What's going on? Wow, I can't talk. What is going on, everybody? Resale Rabbit here. I bought four storage units the other day. I spent a total of $640, and I'm going to show you two of them, kind of. I wasn't able to get everything here. I'm going to be doing that today. Uh, but this is some of those two units. If you go back and watch the video of what it looked like when I bought the unit, this would be unit two and unit three, uh, both at the same facility. One of them was very heavy in furniture, and I think I've got everything that isn't furniture here, which is that cart back there. And unit number three was the one with the really big dresser that looked like you could put people in it and a lot of boxes. And I got most of those boxes right here. So that is what I brought here. I am going to go through all of it and show you what I found. But first, I'm going to get some gloves on. I forgot to do that before I started the video. I'm over here if you can't see me. I really can't see my phone from back here. So I don't know if I'm in frame or not, but yeah. So, got my gloves on. Well, working on it. And we are going to start digging through these boxes. As a reminder, if these videos are too long for you, some people love them, some people hate them. You can always go into the settings, change the playback speed to about one and a half times or even two times, but then we're gonna be talking really, 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 really fast. Um, and if you had a higher playback speed there, you probably have no idea what I just said. Anyways, if you cannot do that with your app, there should be some dots up here or over there or down there. Uh, if you can't do it, you probably need to update the YouTube app or maybe you're watching live, in which case, it's not actually gonna make me go faster, so there's not really any way to do that unless you're watching the replay. Anyways, this first unit, I paid $35 for this unit. And we're going to start going through boxes. Let me fold this down so you can kind of see what we're looking at here. And this box looks like all hair stuff. What is in here? I'm going to guess makeup. If I can get that open. Yeah, it looks like it's mostly cosmetics. Uh... Yeah, that basically is all that's in here. So that's going to the trash. Uh, we've got hair care stuff. This looks new. You could probably get a few dollars for that. Uh, let's see, we'll pull these out. Hair dryer, curlers, everything else in here. Just for sanitary reasons, I don't sell this stuff. It is all just getting thrown away. However, these will sell. Not for much, but they'll sell. And then that is brand new. Next box, we've got this. I saw this right when I opened it. It is complete. This should be at least 10 bucks here, I would assume. A 44 piece purple tool set. Kind of a Walmart special. That'll go for a few dollars though. Next, we've got this right here, and in it is a bunch of stuff. Let me flip this around. That's brand new. We can get a little bit for that. Uh, let's see. We've got a Green Bay Packers. I don't know what this is, like a little money credit card holder type thing. And it is empty, uh, but this will go for a dollar or two. Uh, what else do we have? We've got some chargers. Both iPhone and Android, people pay for these. Oh, and the old style iPhone or iPod chargers. Now, uh, let's see, we've got some hygiene products that'll get thrown away. This will go for like a dollar or so. Uh, we got a lighter, so I'm gonna pay a dollar for that, believe it or not. We've got a coin. Now, I looked, actually looked at this. I don't see anything of value here. Um, it says D slash D, I'm assuming that means double die, but I don't see any place where it may have doubled. So, I don't know, this is probably just worth 10 cents. Uh, I will do a little bit more research before I throw it in my change, but I don't expect much. Uh, let's see, we've got, oh, a flash drive that's seen better days. 256 megabyte, that is gonna be junk. Uh, and a little bit of jewelry in here. So it doesn't look like anything that would be precious metals. No silver, no gold. Maybe another $2 worth of jewelry in there. Next, we've got this box. And this one has 
a purse that is empty, but someone will buy it. We've got a PS2 game and a PC game and an HDMI cable. So this box is probably worth about five bucks. All right, this one is about to fall off, so we'll grab this one next. We got another purse here. Look to see if there's anything noteworthy in it. There's some beads. So I'll pay a dollar or two for that. Oh, uh, what else do we have? Nothing special. Some more beads, a little bit of costume jewelry that looks like a broken earring. A uh, cap for wine bottle. And what is this? Charms. So not really anything special there. And a little, looks like an AA one month recovery coin. I'm gonna set that aside. This is a unit where we can get personal effects back to the previous owner. So that's what we're going to do with things like this. I've got a box that I'm building for them and I will drop them off at the storage facility. All right, we've got mail. We've got a whole bunch of nuts and bolts and nails and stuff like that. This is not an empty bag. What is in it? A receipt. Nothing special there. We've got, looks like a harness of some sort for a pet. We've got Shed Master, so another item for a pet. This is mail. And that's what feels, seems like it's in this bag. Mail. Pay stubs. I love it when I can get the stuff back to the owner. Um, for obvious reasons, because they can get their stuff back, but also because I'm not filling my dumpster with this stuff. All right, this looks like it's just gonna be a box full of paperwork and mail and stuff like that. And that does appear to be what this entire box is. So we will box that up for them. Next one, this, I looked at this in the unit, you remember that, it was empty, there was nothing in it, I think there might have been, that's right, that one was in a drawer, yep, completely empty, but it is still a nice jewelry box and should probably fetch a few dollars. All right, and this bag here, we've got Tic-Tac-Toe, the drinking game, is it new? Uh, no, it is not new, but it is, well, it looks complete. So, Tic-Tac-Toe, the drinking game. And, the City of Green Bay version of Monopoly. Obviously, it's not actual Monopoly, so they're not calling it Monopoly, just City of Green Bay property trading game. And, Total Service Development, that company, I actually know the owner. So, that was kind of cool. He's got one of those framed up nicely in his office. And then we've got some mail of some sort, uh, paperwork, and an empty bag. All right, next. Ooh, this box is a little heavy. This looks like it's going to be all, uh, no, it is not going to be all clothing. This is a moldy shower curtain, so that's going in the trash. And oof, wow, I can smell that mold. You can't even see what's going on here. Let me see if I can get you a better angle. All shampoo and soaps. Oh, these are still sealed. We'll sell those. But all of this shampoo is uh, potentially used. I, again, for health and safety concerns, we don't sell that. So that will all go in the trash. All right, we got another box here. Uh, it's garbage. Here we go. I, f I remember finding this in the unit. It's a bag full of foreign coins. Um, I don't think there's anything too spectacular in here, but I will check for uh, silver. If any of this happens to be silver, it doesn't look like any of it will be, but I will check it and the bag will sell in the auction. I'll probably get three, four dollars for it. Uh, beads. When I opened this up and saw a baggie, I was not expecting to find beads, but that is what it is. I'll put that with the other bag of beads. All right, and this looks like it is probably going to be all clothing. We've got 
Packers shirt. And yes, this is entirely clothing. No, it is not. We've got Barely Legal Boot Camp. That'll go in the trash. And I would assume this is probably similar stuff. Uh, yeah, adult DVDs, trash. And that appears to be everything in this box beyond clothing. All right, next box. Ah, so far, I think I've already made my 35 bucks back. Uh, let's see, more bathroom stuff. How many bathrooms do these people have? Ooh, this looks interesting. If I can get it out. All right, this is Domino's. Huh, that's worth, and a wad of hair. That will get thrown out. But the Domino's are worth a couple of dollars. According to Goodwill, they're worth five bucks. I don't think I'm gonna get five bucks for them, but. All right, what else do we have? This is open, more bathroom stuff, some cleaning products. So this will all get lost. All right, here is a box. Whoa, I'm gonna knock stuff over. Box full of holiday crap. See, holiday crap. Uh, what's in it? It is not holiday crap though. Or maybe it is, I don't know. We got a, this is not a Snuggie. This is Christmas gift bags. Holiday stuff this time of year, unless it's something really special, just gets donated. All right, we've got knit scarves. Those will be worth a couple of dollars. They look handmade. The hat is not handmade. It has a tag on it, so I should probably check the scarves. We've got a shoe piggy bank. That's probably worth a dollar to somebody. What else is in here? In this bag, Windows Mobile is probably worth something to somebody too. A handmade Packers hat. So some of these hats are handmade. I'll save the handmade ones. The ones that are like store bought, like this one, it has a tag on it. Will get donated. Uh, this is a Christmas stocking filled with Christmas. So that looks like that's probably what all of this stuff is, is Christmas decor. That's all ornaments. So just as the box said, it's holiday crap. And uh, we are going to send it to a thrift store. Either St. Vinny's or Goodwill. And, uh, let them deal with it. Let them sit on it until next Christmas. It looks like a wig. There might be some Halloween stuff in here. Yeah, it's a Halloween costume. Princess Leia costume. We'll put that all together so it doesn't get mixed up at the thrift store. So, all this holiday crap going to a thrift store. Next box. Oh my, this one's heavy. My phone is sitting under here. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, I think I remember finding this in a storage unit, but I did not open it yet. So let's, sounds like there's stuff in it. That could be good. We'll set that aside here. This is the diary of the teenage drug addict. I have no idea what this is. But there's no drugs in it, so that's a good sign. Never forget who you are. So it sounds like they might have got clean. I'll let them keep that because that looks like something that might have some sentimental value. Oh, we've got some books. We've got, everyone always asks me about the gold. Well, I just found the treasure chest. So we'll set that aside and look through it in a minute, see what's in it. that aside and the rest of this box appears to be not quite sure what that is books all right books and what is this this is 
some sort of vase made in China. All right. Now, we'll set that aside. Let's start with the jewelry box. Nothing on top. All right, nothing in that drawer. Maybe there is nothing in here. Well, that's a bit of a disappointment. That's what I was hearing rattling around. A ton of safety pins. Does not appear there's any jewelry in here. What is that? A magnet? So, safety pins and paper clips. And then we've got the size to check also. There is a AAA battery in there. And nothing in here. All right. Whenever you see stuff kind of pried open like that, always check behind it. People might have money hidden back there or not money things that one would hide. But in any event, to me, this jewelry box is probably worth five bucks maybe. All right, also in there was this, which is taped shut. So we'll get the tape off and see what's in it. All right, on the, sticking on the top, we've got a couple of CDs that don't seem to want to come out. Man, are those wedged in there or what? All right, that one's empty, that one's empty. And here we've got notebooks. Send that with their personal info. Uh, micro SD card and some SIM cards. We'll give that back to them. Uh, pictures, little books of stuff. That looked interesting. Looks like a drawing of some sort. I always like to look at people's drawings. That's kind of neat. All right. We'll give that back to them. All these little notes. Uh, Target red card. Looks like a Christmas tree, maybe. Wow. Well, it's a little note. So this is probably like a bedside keepsake box. Got a lighter, a broken lighter. We'll throw that away. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is. Some sort of propeller for something. I don't know. Maybe it's worth a dollar to someone. Uh, hotel room key, empty bag that appears to have residue from things in it. This is, oh, one of those little cup, little shot glass. Someone will pay a dollar for that. Uh, UV vodka, looks like a lanyard holder of some sort. Uh, some beads are in here, some notes. So it doesn't really look like anything special in here. A lottery ticket. I wonder if I won $20,000. It says I could. All right. I will just pour this stuff in there. In this little ceramic thing. Might be able to get a couple bucks for that. And my treasure chest. Let's see what's in there. Hmm. It's kind of nice. A decanter with some shot glasses. I bet that would go for some, a few bucks. Is there a maker on it? Don't see any names. Oh, what's it say? Made in Taiwan. All right. So that's worth a few dollars, I'm sure. Everyone always makes fun of how I say dollars. I didn't realize there's a better way to say dollars. So, anyways, let's get the next box. All right, this one. Open this up. Nice that there were some scissors that came out of that box right here. All right, looks like blankets. And a graduation, no. Just pants. Oh, you can smell the mold in this box. There we go, blankets and winter jackets from Lena's room. 
Uh, now I know why you can smell the mold because I found like four boxes in there that said Lena's clothes dirty. So clearly Lena does not do her laundry. I uh, just wanted to check in the other side of the box without actually digging through it. I don't see anything in here. Jacket and nothing special in here. We're just gonna donate this entire box. Prime example right here. I don't know if that's gonna be upside down for you. Towels, dirty, from Lena's room. Darn it, Lena, why don't you do your laundry? All right, I always like to check it just to be sure that's what it is. Well, they're neatly folded, they're just not clean. All right, that. We'll check the bottom to see if anything was tossed down there. If not, it's going to be donated. Bed sheets too. All right. Donation pile. Next box. We've got, you'll remember this from the other video, a cheap Aaron Rodgers jersey. That's worth about two, three dollars, I'm sure. All right, we've got a wax burner, phone case, a little lava lamp with fish that float in it, deodorant, uh, empty box here. That is, in fact, coffee. Ooh, I can smell it. I don't like coffee. Uh, little tassels. You can't even see what I'm doing here. Let me move forward here. Little tassels for something. Oh, we've got some belts with belt buckles. Toss those in the donation pile. They're not special belt buckles. We've got, ooh, antique door handle. Well, I don't know if this is an antique because this looks modern. So I don't know if it's an antique or if it's made to look like an antique. But in any event, let's see if I can get a few dollars for it. All right, we got some trash. We've got a Bible that has seen better days. Cord for something, some, what, six, ten-sided dice. Those will go for a couple dollars. Uh, what else? Another phone case. I'm not quite sure what this is. A hat, looks like a baby's hat. A jar. More deodorant. I'm not quite sure what this is. RGB control box, so I'm guessing it's for like LED lights. A little incense burner. Oh, what do we have here? Uh, looks like an ice pack. I'm gonna get thrown away. And this is a cord for something. Looks like an AUX cord, an aux cord. I don't know if you pronounce that or not. We got a black light. So a lot of trash in this box. So we're just gonna make this a garbage box. That's sellable, this is sellable. This is actually missing the top, so we're just gonna donate it. And that's trash. This we'll toss in the donate pile. All right, clothes from Lena's room, it says right here. I can get this open. This is an interesting box. Cocoa butter, garbage. I've got tape stuck to my gloves. Tape is very difficult to get off gloves. There we go. 
And this is, in fact, all clothing. So we will close this up. Another box of clothes. And that is, in fact, what it is. Another box labeled clothes. And that is, in fact, what that is. All right, here's a box that is not clothing. Lots of personal paperwork and stuff, so we'll throw that into their box. What is in here? Papers, receipts, and similar stuff. Cards, papers. All right, we've got a glass chess and checkers set. We've got a dream catcher. I might be worth a couple dollars. This is brand new. What is this, a skirt? Brand new with tags, original price of, oh, five dollars. Oh, never mind, it must have been on sale. That one says $12.99. That'll be worth a couple of dollars. And uh, the rest is, oh, no, there's stuff underneath. There is a PS2. There's an easy 50 bucks. Lighter fluid. Alrighty then. Thankfully that didn't leak. So we've got a PS2 in here that is complete with controllers, cords, memory card, the whole works. There's an easy 50 bucks right there. And Grand Theft Auto in it. So that'll easily alone pay for the $35 I have in this unit. And, uh, and then some, plus all this other stuff. All right, this is, oh, here we go. Cheap Polaroid tablet. That'll give me about 10, 15 bucks. What else do we have in here? We've got, well, now we know why this person can't pay their bills. Being very careful going through this box. They don't appear used, so that's, that's a good sign. Um, what is that? Cotton balls. Okay, just making sure there are no illegal substances in here. If there were, I would have Brown County Sheriff's Department come and pick them up. Uh, these are all needles, but they are all unused, so they will go in the biohazard bucket that I have. And for those of you who might say they're diabetic, I don't think diabetics use these. Maybe they do, I'm not sure. But that'll go in the biohazard bucket, the sharps container, whatever you want to call it. I do have one of those because I am a business open to the public, so I have it in the bathroom. All right, monkey and donkey from Lena's room. Looks like stuffed animals, probably. We've got this guy and this guy. All right. Goodwill would love to have those. Next box. Ah, I looked at this one in the unit. A ton of prescription pill bottles. They are all prescribed to the to the person. And oh, that one has some in it, so those will have to be disposed of properly. So any of these empty bottles, I'm just gonna throw away. The ones with stuff in it. They are actually prescribed to the person. So because of that, I don't need to file a police report to have them pick them up or anything. I just need to drop them off at a disposal facility. All right, we've got two converter boxes here with a whole mess of cords. And what is this other stuff attached to it? 
Um, power supply for something. And audio video modulator. So basically, a splitter. All right, and there's the remotes for the converter boxes. All right, let's see what else we've got here. All these empty bottles are getting thrown away. So most of them are empty. I'm shaking each one to see if I can hear pills in them. This is an empty bag. Shampoo, we've got a wallet that is empty. We go. Whoa, this is a heavy duty charger. Look at this. This is a micro USB cable. Holy crap. Someone just asked if she was a pill popper. I don't believe so because these were all prescribed to her. Uh, I don't recognize any of the, the names of the medication. It's all the same thing. Oh, here's something that's different. And it just says take one capsule at bedtime. This medication should be taken with plenty of water. Prolonged excessive sunlight should be avoided. I don't recognize any of the names, but because they're all prescribed to her, I wouldn't assume that she was, I guess in the traditional sense, a pill popper. This one's just vitamin D3 prescribed to her. We got an AV cable for a PlayStation. Cheap Walmart brand computer mouse. I don't know what that is. We got, I thought that was a needle at first. It is, well, it kind of is like a needle. It's, uh, I can't get it open. It's for sewing, for de-stitching things. We got a broken picture frame. A little wallet that is empty. And that, that. All right, so another garbage box. And these two, Sando. Oh wait, that's not, that must be the doctor's name. Diclofenac 50 milligram tablets. I, I don't know what that is. And Fenzophydrine. Something like that. In any event, these are going to be disposed of. Just take them to the drop-off site. All right, next box. We've got some junk. Pictures, personal effects. We'll give that back to them. A necktie, more pictures. Uh, pictures, if you're just tuning in, pictures and personal effects are being returned to the previous owner, who will most likely not pick them up, as per usual. All right, that is all clothing. Oh my, this one's heavy. It says miscellaneous from Lena's room. It's amazing how many people won't pick up their personal effects. We don't charge you for them. All we ask is that you come pick them up. All right, The Day the Earth Stood Still. It's a decent movie. Boom. All right, this is gonna be a lot of paperwork. We've got an empty CD case. Let me see if I can get you a better angle here. All right, this isn't working out so well. So, their license plate. We've got, I gotta grab another box for personal effects because that one is getting full. All right, let's see what we've got. Mail, empty CD case, a tablecloth, more mail and a notebook. Another notebook, diary, or what have you. This looks like it's gonna be mostly personal effects. There's a picture. Uh, 
Ah, uh, nothing too fancy in here. This looks like a wallet of some sort, but it's all ripped open. Beads inside of it. Airwick. That's an old magazine. Uh, 1962. Well, it's papers, so I'm throwing in with their personal effects. This is refill pages for something, postbound, I guess for scrapbooking or something. We've got a book. Magazines, you know what, they can have their magazines too. Papers, notebooks. A remote for a TV, I guess. A whole bunch of junk. That's, that's trash. All right, we've got another bag similar to that. That appears to be all papers. And you can have it. Binders and papers and folders and notebooks. All right, we've got a little box here, glass top. Probably worth a couple of dollars. We've got another little box with notes in it. This is, looks like a case for something. Empty. What is in here? Sewing kit and fragrance body spray. Thread is useful. And that is a New Testament. Diaries. This is a really boring box. I thought this one was going to be fun. Nothing interesting in that one. Bubbles. Another diary, I think. Yeah. And contact lenses. All right, next box. This one is really light. And it is shoes. And a squirt gun. I think that's a squirt gun. No, like a dart gun. Off-brand Nerf gun. I don't see anything interesting in here. All that can go. Another box labeled shoes and what do you know, filled with shoes. That can go. And the last box, the one that I've saved for last, is labeled Random Electronics from Lena's Room. So let's see what is in here. All right, not looking too good. A power strip, a cheap Boombox, iLive is the brand. Some extension cords and a hair dryer. All right. So, that is the bulk of unit two. Now, I only paid 35 bucks for that one. I wasn't expecting a ton. There is that solid wood dresser. There's a cheap press board desk. And I left about 10 or 12 boxes that looked like it had all clothing and kitchen items in it. Overall, just with what I went through here, I'll have a lot of donate stuff and maybe 150 bucks or so. Probably another 100 bucks in the furniture and another, I don't know, 50, 75 dollars in the unit. So not a great unit, but still not terrible. I mean, it's 35 bucks well spent. It didn't take much time to go through it. Now I've got the $450 unit that we're gonna be going through next. I've got just about everything out of it but the furniture, but if you didn't see the video, I recommend you go check that's unit number two 
The furniture in it, there's a really nice washer and dryer set, a decent sofa set, some good furniture in there. So let's go take a look at this stuff. I'm gonna slide this pile out of the way. Start looking at it. So, we've got a knife block. This was Faberware. Uh, looks like it is missing two steak knives. And I'm not sure what went in that hole. And that's actually got a sharpener on it. You run it, well, that blade is in the way. So, let's do this one. You run it right through there. So, I don't know, probably 10 bucks for that. one of these little geometric things that basic white girls like to have in their house. Two, three bucks, I have no idea what these are worth. I'll have to look them up. Hamilton Beach plastic box. Let me hold the camera down. Ooh, nice little mixer. And I do remember seeing this in the unit. It is missing the actual mixers that come on it, but I would assume those are pretty universal. Nice little stainless steel item with the plastic box and the broken hinges. That should fetch a few dollars. All right, and this fun stuff, we've got a toaster, we've got a pan, we've got some mail. That's just junk mail though, and a bowl. All right, now to the boxes. This one has Kitchen stuff. We've got a neutral bullet. I can show you that. With lots of attachments. A little Pyrex measuring cup. And it looks like an insert for a crock pot. Big pan. What is this? Oh, there's the rest of the crock pot right there. And there's the lid for the crock pot. So, the crock pot and the Nutribullet, I don't know, I could probably bring in 20, 25 bucks for the pair. So there's a start. Now if you remember, this unit I found a ton of Wii games as well as all the cords and controllers for a Wii. And I found a PS4 controller. So I'm really hoping there's a PS4 and a Wii in there. And now that I remember, it's not in this pile, so I can't show you, but if you go back, the bag with all the Wii games, there's also a pair of Beats by Dre earbuds. That's easily worth 20, 25 bucks. All right, back to this. This is labeled shirt and pants. And it looks like some other, oh, big old pile of poop in this box. Gross. All right, a Wii U nunchuck that might be new. If it is new, I want to carefully open it. Well, in any event, it's a Wii U nunchuck. I think that is new, with an Amazon label on it. A Wii U nunchuck, a couple of dollars. We've got a water bottle. We've got, what is this? High performance tech cleaner, so for cleaning electronics. We've got a Wii controller. And there was another one of those in the other unit. A pair of pineapple shorts. Aeropostle. This could be worth a few dollars in the dollar sale. Someone might buy them. Unfortunately, they don't fit me, so I can't wear them. Uh, what else do we have here? I have an empty box around here I can toss stuff into. Here we go. Empty box. All right, I already see something good. We've got a Wii remote. Huh, <laughs> lobster shorts. I like this guy's style. Lobsters, pineapples. Exactly the stuff I would wear. All right, some books. More clothing. It looks like the rest of this is probably going to be clothing. Nutrition facts. I wonder what this is. Uh, Twitter, 28%. Instagram. Uh, now it's upside down. I can't read it. That's interesting. 
Uh, let's see. All right, the rest of this is just clothing. Okay. Next box. That wee stuff is kind of nice to find, though. Next box, we've got some pots and pans and dishes. Some of it's wrapped up. So, kitchen box, probably worth 10, 15 bucks, if that. All right, we've got a pan, some plates. Well, let's grab these bags so they're out of the way. This looks like it's just gonna be all shoes. I'm just kind of looking around on the outside. Yep, that bag is all shoes. Now this is a heavy box. And it's also a big box. Now, I am going to need to find a box to put their personal effects in. Because this is a separate storage unit. This is not the same one that we were going through earlier. So all this mail and paperwork. Gonna have to go in there. I got a set of tongs. Uh, that in the kitchen box. We've got ooh, brand new pair of gloves. Looks like something spilled on them, but they are new with a price of forty dollars on it. So that'll probably be an easy five bucks. We've got a candle. Brand new gum, but I don't trust it. I'll throw that away. All right, dish rack. Oh, hello. Brand new American Eagle underwear. Who would have thought I'd be excited about finding underwear? That will definitely sell. There's another pair. Deodorant. Socks. These almost look new. I wonder, there you go, with the, with the tags. All right, what else do we have? Cologne. Dior. Another pair of new underwear. These ones are also American Eagle. Hairbrush. More new socks. And that, ooh, what's in this? An unopened package from China. Where are my scissors? Let's see what we've got here. What came from China? It is, what in the world is this? I have no idea what this is. It's got a point coming off of it, a metal point. I wonder what it says on the outside of this. Uh, let's see. Just addresses. Electric carving brush. I have no idea, but it is brand new, but maybe I'll get a dollar for it, I don't know. All right, and the rest of this looks to be just personal effects. This looks like it's probably just papers. Yep, just papers. Ooh, pre-stamped envelopes. I'll keep those. Oh, there's another thing of pre-stamped envelopes. There are five of them in there, so that's 10 pre-stamped envelopes, which saves me about five bucks in postage. All right, and the rest is personal effects. In here, we've got curtains, brand new. Looks like this is probably more curtains. There you go. They're probably these. So, brand new curtains. That's always going to be nice. Should be an easy sale. Those are kind of grubby oven mitts. There you go. Brand new ladle. This is brand new stuff in here, which is kind of nice. I don't even know what this is. 
I don't know. It's, it's getting donated. That's what it is. Mail. Is that mail? Yes. All right. This is personal effects. Let's see if there are any gift cards in here. We've got driver's license. I'm looking through this off camera because there are driver's licenses. Uh, two more licenses. All the same person, just different ages. Uh, loyalty card. Another driver's license. Stamped void. All right, all personal stuff. Here, this looks like it's opened. Eyelashes. Throw it out. This looks like it's part part of a car jack. Well, I'll just set it aside in case we find the car jack. Oh no, this is empty. An empty box for an iPhone. I don't even know what what it is, but one of the iPhones. Um, toss that aside. Deodorant. At least they're hygienic. All right, a lot of their bathroom stuff, cotton swabs. Some sort of clean product, towels, a ton of hangers. Oh, this feels nice. A laptop bag and in it is not a laptop. Looks like all paperwork, graduation stuff, books. A Puerto Rican birth certificate. Uh, so yeah, this will all be given back to the owner. Uh, nothing special in there. High school diploma. This thing is getting stuck on everything. Uh, that's empty. That's brand new. Victoria's Secret bag. $30 price tag. Uh, envelopes. Looks like maybe birthday cards or something. There's another one. Too hot to handle. Graduation cap. Balloons! Uh oh, pregnancy test. What are in these? Oh, this could be good. Ashcroft and Oak is an actual jewelry store around here. I'm trying to look at the markings here to see what we've got. 14 carat. Uh, let's see, this bracelet. 14 carat. This ring does not appear to be marked. Oh, there it is. 14 karat ring. A chain here. 14 karat. So all of this is 14 karat. That was a good find. That's probably $150 worth of gold. And we've got another one right here with a necklace all in there. So I'm gonna guess that is probably gonna be gold as well without taking it out. I know I said without taking it out, but I'm taking it out. And this is, It says Italy on that side. This is very difficult to look at with gloves on. 14 carat, and this is a nice, thick, chunky chain. And that could be a real diamond in there, just based on where this came from. Like this is, I don't know if Ashcroft and Oak is like a national jewelry store, but similar like Zales or K, you know, one of those mall jewelry stores. No price tags on it, so. Those boxes could have paid for the whole thing. Oh, let's dig around a little bit more in here. That's part of the graduation tassel. 
Doesn't look like anything else, mostly hangers, a little bit of clothing. So, toss this aside. All right, next box. Whole bunch of stuff in here. We've got a dog trolley system. It's probably worth a few dollars. I need a box for putting this stuff in because all of mine are full. This will work. Dog trolley system. We've got, oh, this is all kitchen stuff. We'll just throw these straws away. Alright. These might be the beaters for that mixer. Ping pong balls. This looks like a fancy coffee mug. People like that type of stuff. Pizza cutter. Silverware. So a whole bunch of kitchen stuff. I don't know, 20 bucks or so once I piece all these things up, because every one of these things I'll easily be able to get a dollar for in the dollar sale. So once I, I mean, this is a nice can opener. Someone will easily pay a dollar for that Oneida. So once I piece all this out, I'm sure it's at least 20 bucks. Oy. Oh my. This one's heavy. This box smells like girl. It's full of lotions and perfume. All right, let's toss all these aside. What do we got here? Is this new? No, they're not new, but nonetheless, a pair of shoes in their box. Up. Here's another shoe box. Another pair of shoes, also not new. But you know what? These things are like clean, like just a little dirty. Like, oh no, there is somewhere. I was thinking maybe you could wash them up and call them new or like new. No. These ones are new. I don't know if that cut out for a minute. I had someone try to call me, so I am going to have to message back. Doing a live video right now. All right. So, Victoria's Secret. God, can you imagine how much all this stuff costs new? Look at this price tag, 13 bucks. There's probably 100 bottles in here. That is insane. All right, that is that box. Now we've got this box. Looks like bowls. Interesting design. And they still get tags on them. They still have tags on them. Walmart stickers. And Corel. So I don't know, five bucks for this box. Looks like a decent amount of bowls. This one feels like more kitchen stuff, and it is. Mixing bowls and pots and pans and a strainer. Uh, all right. Now this one appears to be all clothing. Wait, did I see a jersey? No, just shorts. All right, box full of clothing. But it looks like some good brand name stuff. So, especially the jeans, probably get a few dollars for that. And finally, if you saw the previous video, 
You saw this. Oh, this is a safe. Now it does appear that it's just paperwork in there. Actually, it appears it's mostly empty folders. I did find there's a credit card in there and a social security card, which we'll get back to the previous owner. However, all of these appear to be empty. There was at the bottom though, an old iPod, cracked screen. But, you know, maybe worth 10, 15 bucks on eBay. Uh, eight gig, someone might buy it. And the safe, although it doesn't have a key, I'm just kind of trying to look through these. Since the safe doesn't have a key, it's not good as a safe, but it is still a fireproof box. So, you know, someone might pay 10 bucks for this as a fireproof box. So I will sell it as that. So that is everything that I brought here on the first trip from units two and three. Not the best stuff, but you know what? This gold is gonna be a score. I really think this is gonna be a score. I'm going to bring it in, get a value on it. This one, because it is still new, I'm gonna have them look at it, see if that's a diamond, what the total value is. But this I may sell on its own. It says 15, maybe for a quinceanera. Um, and then this stuff, we've got a ring that matches that, that says 15. We've got another ring here uh, with a couple of hearts on it. We've got a broken chain. So this one will definitely be uh, scrapped. It will be sold for its gold value. It's 14 karat though, so broken chain is a broken chain. We've got a bracelet, 14 karat. And we've got, I didn't look this up, this cross. Oh, that is really small text. I don't know if I'll be able to see that without my loop. In any event, we got a cross. It honestly probably came off of this chain that was broken. So, got some decent money here in gold. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with, with this one. Uh, we'll see what it's worth in melt value. But that might almost pay for uh, I don't think it'll pay for the unit because I did pay $450 for this one. But I'll get some decent money for it. Now, also in that unit was a nice sofa set. I already had an offer for $150 for it. I'm going to take a closer look at it, take it out of the unit. Um, there was a washer and dryer set, nice Kenmore set I'll have to test out, but I think I could get between $500 and $1,000, depending on the age and whether or not it works. Um, it's one of those nice high efficiency front load sets. If it's not crazy old and it does work, I think I could get between $500 and $1,000. Uh, those are usually between $1,000 and $1,500 per piece new. What else was in there? Uh, I think there was a futon in there, a nice kitchen table set with bar stools. Overall, the furniture and everything should bring me at least $1,000, maybe more, depending on the washer and dryer. The stuff that I pulled out of here, probably a few hundred dollars more, plus the gold. I'm happy with it. That is it for this video. Oh, there was also two Dodge Ram rims and tires. I only saw two for like a truck. I uh, should get I don't know, maybe a hundred bucks a piece for those, maybe. I don't know what rims go for. I'm not a rim guy. So that's it for this unit, or these units. Uh, look out for another video, possibly today, possibly tomorrow, as I go through the other ones. But I'm going to get going. i got to get them emptied out. I will see you in the next one.